Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lot of dolls, and I'm going to be unboxing one of them. So as you guys know, Stitched in Style Frankie came out, I think Sunday? And I've had her since Tuesday, but I totally forgot to make a video about her because the Nightmare Before Christmas happened. So I have a bunch of dolls over here to review, including Holiday Claudine and Cleo. I found a Saran variant at Walmart, which was cool. But um, yeah, I've got Stitched in Style Frankie right here. I got a pretty good face, I would say, and very good bangs, which I'm relieved about because I am so bad with doll bangs. So um, needless to say, I'm happy I got a good one. And um, I did actually get a dented one as well, but we're returning that one to Amazon since this doll is still in stock. It's not like Vampire Heart Draculaura where we all know what happened with that. So here we have Stitched in Style Frankie, the newest Monster High Amazon exclusive collector doll. Designed by my favorite Monster High designer currently, um, Annalise Lau. She's the same designer who um, worked on basically all of the G3 Skultimate Secrets dolls, Amped Up Frankie. Um, she also did Gulux Gulia, Vampire Heart Draculaura, and now this gorgeous doll. So, um, yeah, she's a very, very talented designer. So this doll's packaging is really nice. I like it a lot. I know it's kind of simplistic, but I just really like the look of it. I like the little stitched in style Frankie Stein logo up here. And I really like all the dotted lines drawn around the box. This doll is meant to be inspired by the art of dressmaking as the designer posted. So a lot of the things about her reflect that. On the back of the box, we have Frankie Stein is stitched together in a look that electrified. Electri electrifies. How did I just make a typo out loud with my mouth? Stitching style with edge. Frankie Stein stuns in a deconstructed couture gown that celebrates the timeless art of tailoring and dressmaking. Reminiscent of a dress mannequin, a halter bustier with... Of a mannequin, a halter bustier with top stitching is paired with a ruched... Rushed? I'm gonna say it's ruched. Overskirt with, an as with asymmetric layers of creeperific tulle ex accented with a dramatic chain. I'm gonna stop reading this because I'm terrible at reading things out loud, but um... Yeah, so the back of the box does just feature a photo of the doll. Standard Mattel stuff and MonsterHigh.com in the corner. A fun fact about the shipper this doll came in, it was a Mattel Creations shipper. It didn't say Stitched in Style Frankie, it was just a generic Mattel Creations shipper. Which is odd, because this was an Amazon exclusive doll. I don't know, maybe she was intended to be a fan club doll, but they moved her to Amazon. I really have no idea. Inside of the box, we have the same print that lines the doll's skirt, and of course, another crotch stand. I sure do love crotch stands. I hope they stop using these soon, I really hate them. But anyway, now that we've looked at everything, let's get this girl out of the box. Ghoul. Get the ghoul. I, I missed a pun. For some reason, that had me fighting for my life. This doll did not want to come out, and I don't even know what was holding them in there. Um, yeah, that was confusing though. Fuck. Eight three dolls come with too much stuff. I need like three million storage containers for it. Um, yeah, I ended up ripping the box here, so, um, that's on me. I'm a little dumb. But now we just have to free Frankie, and seems like the things holding this doll in place are pretty minimal. Just a couple, like, ties around the wrists as usual. Did I cut that? It's just occurring to me that I forgot to take photos of this doll for my Instagram account. I might have to shove her back in. I have to finish this review now. <laughs> I had to leave for a bit. My parents randomly decided they wanted to go out to eat and I was not going to get dinner otherwise, so I went with them. Okay, um, that's just a rubber band. That's kind of cute. Behind Frankie in her box, there's like this needle and thread. That's cute. Around the back, we've got Frankie's silver stand base and the Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies that your monster eye stitched in style Frankie Stein doll materialized through collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. Slay. Even though I don't like these things, I think this one will work much better with Frankie than um, it did with Vampire Heart Draculaura. By the way, I got a perfect face. At least I think I did. Okay, yeah, unlike the previous dolls to use this stand, this went on her perfectly. And, um, 
yeah, safe to say this is probably my favorite um, alumni Frankie doll. Like, considering what this doll is up against, um, Haunt Couture, Haunt Couture Midnight Runway, and Voltageous, I think this is my favorite. I like this doll a lot. Um, her design is just so much fun. I love the poofiness of this skirt, and I love the print. I really love the chains, and it's just like, everything is so nice. I really like this top, too. This is a super cute piece. I would wear the shit out of this if I owned it. So, a lot of people didn't like this doll's bangs, but I don't really see an issue with them. I get disliking bangs that are rooted this way, but me personally, I don't mind. I think it might just be because I got good bangs, though. Like, I don't think I'm gonna have to redo these at all. Uh, I did also want to show you guys the doll's eyebrows, though. I really, really like her face. It's just a gorgeous screening. Um, yeah, I don't think I messed them up too bad. I really like these needle and thread earrings that Frankie has on. They're very cute. It's just a very cute pair of earrings. Oh, and I absolutely love this headpiece with the bobby pins. Safety pins. They're safety pins with skelettes on them. It looks like Frankie's skelette in specific, too. Oh, wait. Are those even skelettes? I might be blind. I really like the needle crown as well. Though it does look like they dulled them out because in the photos up here, they were much pointier. And here, they have a much duller edge. It's probably for safety purposes so people aren't poking themselves on this. The needles are very, um, squishy, by the way. <laughs> like... Yeah, those would very easily bend out of place if you left the doll laying down on them in a weird way, so... I guess that's just something to be wary of, I would say. I love this doll's makeup. I really love the silver lip color and the red and... Did I just say red? <laughs> I meant the blue and green eyeshadow. My brain is fried. I'm not... I'm tired, dude. Do a quick 360 of the doll, and from the back, you can see that the doll has fully black hair, which is unique for Frankie. Frankie is typically known for having black and white stripes all over, but this doll features fully black hair around the back. There's no white anywhere rooted into the back of the doll's head. I really like these little charms too. Very cute. Yeah, this is a gorgeous headpiece and I really like the bun up here. I just really think it ties everything together. You can also see the tool around the back a lot better because there are layers on the side, but it seems to be most visible from behind. And of course, here we have Frankie's heels. Very cute. Oh, and we've got the little, um, I can't see what I'm doing. The little scissor charm here. Very cute, but this is not how scissors work. This is way too small. <laughs> but yeah, the shoes are really cute. I really like the um, holes down here because like, like holes in the heel i have such a way with words dude i'm a fucking poet but yeah the shoes are really nice i like them a lot i believe the prototype had slightly pointier heels like at the front but i honestly don't see much of a difference between the prototype and final product and i like them a lot these are very nicely sculpted and again the heel is kind of soft so um yeah, I guess that's just another thing to be cautious of. You know how Bratz heels can like bend out of shape sometimes because they're usually made of like a very soft, gummy-like plastic like this? Just uh, whatever you do to keep those straight, do that with these as well. Frankie has a bunch of these little bobby pins that, yeah, they definitely have skelettes on them all throughout this big chain. And I like the use of different chains. Like these are typical like link chains, but then this is more of like a stitched looking chain. And then there's like this one, which I... I don't know how to describe what kind of chain this one is, but I like the use of different like chain styles. It's really cute. Even like a barbed wire one down here. And I love all the little silver stitches all over the fabric. This is just, this looks like Halloween costume. Like I swear to God, I had a Halloween costume skirt that looked like this at one point. Also, this is two separate pieces with one being down here made of the barbed wire looking thing and the one up there also being made of the barbed wire looking thing. They're made of the same like type of chain but slightly different colors. Like this one seems more metallic than this one. It's a really cool arm piece though. I really like it a lot. And um, there's also this, kind of looks like a spark plug. I don't know what this is. I, I just wanted to point it out. All in all, this doll is fabulous. And 
I'd say pretty well worth the $50 price point. It was definitely very reasonably priced and I'm happy about that. Did I just cut myself off? I was saying I was happy about the price. This doll is currently still available on Amazon if you want her. I highly recommend her. She's gorgeous and I would really like to see more dolls like her in the future. Like just kind of a random theme, like Stitched in Style isn't the name of a line, it's just the name of this specific doll. I'd love to see them do something like this for Claudine. Like, I just think it would fit her very well. I guess if I were to complain about something, it would have been nice if this doll came with a purse. Like a little purse to display on her arm would have been cute, maybe like a spool of thread or something. I don't know, that's probably my only little gripe. Overall, I really like this doll. And again, the fully black hair in the back is unique. That's not something we've ever had before. So I'd really like to see more unique things be done with the dolls like that going forward. But yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Let me know if you've already bought this doll or if you're thinking about buying her in the comments. And yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Roxy's about to fall over and thank you for watching. Bye.